the winner goes a berth in the NFC Championship game next Sunday afternoon at San Francisco. Redskins have won the toss. And Dave Finzer ready to kick off. The deep man is Mike Nelms. He's been back there all year long. Nelms at the goal line. And they go with the reverse on the opening kickoff. Monty Coleman, a linebacker, on the reverse from Nelms, takes it to the 36-yard line. Surprise. A reverse on the opening kickoff. Theismann comes out throwing. It's Art Monk. Are the safety second and two. Riggins across the 50. Didier, the tight end, is split out wide to the right side. Wide open on the left side is Calvin Muhammad. Third and six, Redskins. Now the Redskins haven't shown the shotgun all year. We saw him practice it on Friday. Bill Gibbs reportedly does not believe in it, but here it is. And look out. Theisman got away from the first man. Didier in motion this time. Theisman rolling out, going for the corner, incomplete. Mosley, 24 out of 31 on the year. This effort from 25 yards. Straight as an arrow. Here's Peyton. First carry of the day. And Walter Peyton has got a first down. Fuller back to throw. Malak to a throw. Untouched. Redskins need three for the first down at their 21. They lead it 3 0 with 4.02 left in the opening period. Bill Washington has replaced Riggins. Theismann gets the pass away to Monk. Third down, 12. Redskins at their 37 yard line. And the Bears with six defensive backs. Theismann having trouble He's finding somebody open. Going to run for the first down. He's out to the 50. They're coming at Riggins, and this time Hampton lands on top of Theismann. Theismann stepping up in the pocket, drills the sideline throw at the 50-yard line. Third year as head coach of the Chicago Bears, has done a marvelous job. High snap again for Theismann out of the shotgun, pulls it down, hits Joe Washington at the 45, and Washington will be very close for the first down. Fourth and a yard for the first down at the Bear 41. Two back set here with Wansley joining Riggins. It is Riggins for the first down. Lead the Chicago Bears 3 0. From this point, he's looking at a 50 yard field goal. From the shotgun on third down, Theismann again, big rush on him. Gets it away. Washington is really clobber. Let's see if it's ruled an incompleted pass or a fumble. I didn't see it that way. They're giving the football to the Bears. Payton takes the handoff, 40, 45. Walter Payton has a first down. By the Washington Redskins. Fuller back to throw. Protection good, airs it out. He's got McKinnon. McKinnon makes the catch at the 17-yard line. That's a first down. Ball is at the Redskins, 11. McKinnon in motion. Fuller. <laughs> 16-yard line. On third and Coming 12. Out. Peyton throws the pass. He tried to get it to Fuller. 34-yard field goal attempt. Bashnagel to hold to tie the game. It's good. I caught him for holding. Third down and four. There's from their 45. Looked like Peyton wanted to pitch it back to Fuller. And Peyton down the sidelines across the 50-yard line. Dunsmore, the tight end of the slot, off to the right side. Here's Steve Fuller, under pressure. Delivers over the middle, almost intercepted, intended for. Wide to the right side. Here's Theismann, thrown from the end zone, sees an opening. And slides to a halt at the 10. Late hit. There's the flag. Personal foul, piling on, number 95. First down. Six minutes, 16 seconds left to play in the first half. Heisman looks near side, now looks far side. And again, he's going to run it. Otis Wilson finally chasing him down. He goes out of bounds. Charlie Brown wide to the left side. Didier in motion for Washington from the shotgun. Heisman sideline throw to Brown, completes it at the 35. 
And, and that'll be close. Second and five. We may find out more on that at halftime. Payton. The ensuing normally split duties at the other running back. Fuller got some pressure. Gets rid of it. Hits Thomas at the 45 and down to the 41. Payton comes back inside. And in the second period, it's been the Bears controlling the football. Second and four from the 20. They fake the reverse. Peyton to throw wide open. Dunsmore in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Was he open or was he open? He was wide open. Dunsmore was the tight end. They faked the toss first, then faked the reverse. And Walter Peyton has nine completions in his career as a passer, and eight of them have scored touchdowns. Back to live action. First and 10 Redskins at their 34. Theismann over the middle to Monk. Redskins try to get on the scoreboard before intermission. They have a first and 10 at their own 46 yard line, trailing 10 to 3. Theismann got Hampton after him, gets away from him, completes the pass to Didier at the 40, 35, 30. And out of bounds at the 27. Richardson comes out to pick him up. Brown off to the left, back to throw it. Theismann over the middle. Pass interference. Well, the officials didn't call it. Here's Clint Didier coming down on Mike Richardson. That gives him move to the outside. He goes to the inside. Now the guy hooks him right there. Here's that 46 defense. Bit of a quick. Theismann in trouble behind the line and sacked back at the 32-yard line. Fans see the linebackers standing up to the, to the right of the Redskins formation. Third and 20 from the 37. Good protection this time for a moment for Theismann. And all of a sudden, Richard Dent blew through there and dropped him for the loss. So stay with us. Been an interesting first half, certainly, with the Bears leading the Redskins and surprising a lot of people in Washington. We're at intermission. 10-3 the score. Is who's going to come up with the big play to possibly break it open? Steve Fuller at the throttle, as he has been all afternoon. The pitch to Peyton. And Walter Payton, linebacker rusher, much like the Lawrence Taylor and all. Fuller throwing on second down, completes it. That could be the big play. That's Galt. It's a foot race. They won't catch him. He's got too much speed. Willie Galt at the 10, at the 5, touchdown. Willie Galt, who told us yesterday he has been timed in 4.17 for the 40. 75 yards on the touchdown reception from Steve Fuller. This crowd is stunned. It is no good. Theisman hitting hard. Third down, and the Redskins need six for the first down at their 42-yard line. They trail 16-3 from the shotgun. Using it for the first time today. Great catch! Didier gets away from Singletary. Gets inside the 35 and goes out of bounds at the 28. And Didier is ready to fight somebody. And second and seven. Get it to him quickly. Nice and far sideline throw to Monk. First down inside the 20. 11 08 left to play in the third period. On first and 20. Theisman then down to the two yard line. Completes it to Mohammed. That'll be a first and goal. Again, it is Richards. He is over. Touchdown. Yes. Boy, are these fans pumped up. Fuller inside, handoff, a little pitch to Suey across the 40, 50. Matt Suey is down to the 40-yard line. Had he fumbled it, it would have simply been an incompleted forward pass. First down at the 39, Peyton. Down to the 35, inside to 30 with the 29-yard line, and very close to a first down. And very good signal calling, Frank. You know what they're doing? Stay cool, men. Stay cool. At the Redskin 30, Bears leading 16-10. Suey caught behind the line of scrimmage. And dropped for the loss back at the 35-yard line. Bears staying on the ground for the most part, but here's Fuller going upstairs and going long for Dunsmore, the tight end, who can't reach it. Well, wind conditions being what they are, a little swirly down here. Ditka didn't want to take a chance. Finzer goes down. We've got a flag. Coffee came in with the big rush. Finzer put it out of bounds. 
Unless they change it. Let's see. Running into the kicker. Five yards. Automatic first down. Fuller for McKinnon. Got open at the near sideline. One out of bounds. First and ten. Bears at the Redskins 16 yard line. Four minutes left. Third period. Fuller flushed out of the pocket. Goes to McKinnon. Touchdown. Fuller keeping his cool, and there was some question in my mind, almost, that Fuller got beyond the line of scrimmage before he threw that thing. But no Three. flags. Word from the Bears bench is that Terry Schmidt is out for the game with a deep thigh bruise, and Leslie Frazier is now in at the right cornerback position. Third and eight. Theismann wants the big play, goes down the sidelines. It's Monk at the 50. And they figured that would cause him problems. First and ten from the 50. Muhammad. Hangs on to this one, makes the grab at the 33, fumbles the football, and the Bears have recovered. Turns to his left and throws the post pattern right on the money. Plenty of time to lock it in there. A, he was bobbling the ball going down. Well, it's ruled a catch and a fumble. And the Bears take over at their 32, and they put Walter Payton to work. And Payton takes it out to the 35 before he's driven back. Bears leading 23 to 10. But that missed extra point still looms possibly large. Fuller handing off to Payton. Most teams passing down. But he got Payton. Maybe Fumble. not. Fumble by Fuller. Who got it? Ball is loose. Redskins have recovered. Rich Malott, number 57. Art Monk, the man in motion for the Redskins. Theismann, quick throw this time, comes to Monk. Out of bounds at the Bear 29. Riggins in the backfield. Audible. Theismann going long for Didier. The tight end makes the catch. Goes out of bounds at the three. First and goal. Riggins, touchdown. Score the Bears 23, the Redskins 17. We now pause for a word from your local station. Bears at their 21. Fuller sending Suey in motion. Going long for Galt. Galt had it for a moment and dropped it. In the NFC title game next week against the 49ers in San Francisco. Here's Fuller on the rollout. Looking downfield, he's in trouble. Brought behind the line of scrimmage. They've got Green back there, too. But Nelms fields the punt at the 45. Nelms to midfield to the 45 to the 40. Inside the 40 to the 36. Washington, 6 out of 12. Looks like third down out. conversions. Looks like they're coming out from Frank. They're showing blitz fumble. Theismann comes up with the ball. Calvin Thomas in that backfield along with Peyton behind Fuller, who retreats to the goal line. And is in trouble and down at the three. So the pressure and the battle of the sacks. As Fuller's having trouble just, just trying to call the play in the huddle. He's right beneath the stands, the end zone stands, which are no more than five yards from the back of the end zone. They have to get to the 20-yard line just beyond to pick up the first down. Oh, Peyton takes a tremendous hit at the line of scrimmage and moves it out to about the seven for a pickup of three. Evaluate how good your punter is. This guy's good. He got a nice punt up, not very far, but he hung it up there good. Nelms made the catch with 9.52. Left to play in the game. The fake to Riggins. Theismann in trouble behind the line of scrimmage and goes down. It's second down, 16 for the Redskins at the 46 of the Bears. Again, Theismann goes down. We get a flag and the big hit that time by Richard Dent. Holding. Decline. At their own 46. Monk in motion. Theismann escapes Hampton. Still looking downfield. Pass is almost intercepted. With the Bears defense oh. tremendous credit. Look at this point. Fisher. Gonna let it bounce at the five, takes a Redskin bounce, and will be down at the seven yard line. And the Bears backed up inside their 10. Manley. He's got Vernon Dean on him. And Fuller from the end zone. Gets it out to Peyton at about the seven. Peyton to the 10. 
and run out of bounds. Gonna run out of time, Frank. Fuller caught behind the line. Trapped at the six-yard line by Malott. Oh, he's played a game. Rich Malott, one of the Redskins who was injured earlier this year. Protégé in the playoffs along with Dan Reeves of Denver. Eight minutes, 11 seconds left to play in the game, and Fincher's going to take a safety. He talked it over with Mike Ditka on the sidelines, and rather than uh, risk a possible touchdown here with a block kick, and it I looks like a few guys on the Bears bench are looking around saying, what was that for? They were surprised. I was not surprised. I would say that would be the same thing I would do or a lot of other coaches would do, but I think it is a good decision on his part. The field goal can't beat him anyway. He got it up pretty high. And a little bit short. Nelms at the 35 to the 40, 45, 50, and down to the 45-yard line. So I don't know if they gained that much. No, didn't get it. Was not a real good punt. First and 10, Redskins at the Bear, 45-yard line. Spread out pass. Feinsman trying to get it away. Slips Hampton's grasp and throws the football away. Second and 10 for the Redskins at the Bear, 45. Feinsman over the middle to Monk. Close to a first down. He worked on the uh, 49ers for a week. Figured he'd be there. Here's Theisman. Protection good this time. Now he's got some problems. Joe Theisman, who's run more today than he has all year, delivers the pass downfield. Taking an awful long time, Frank. That clock's down to 10 seconds, 9 seconds already. They're going to have trouble getting it off, and that's tough if you can't audible now. Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. Just got it away. Theisman on third and 10. Loses the ball. However, it's going to be rolled an incompleted forward pass. Who hit earlier this afternoon from 25 yards out. He's only one for five this year at this distance. It's long enough. It is no good. The Bears have thrown it sparingly but effectively. Peyton around the right side looking for his opening for the Bears at their 33. Big play here. Peyton driving forward close to the 35-yard line, and it is going to be close for the first. Third down and seven. Big play again for the Bears in this drive. They're at their 37-yard line. Fuller looking downfield. Intended for Moorhead, the tight end. First and ten Redskins at their 18. Big rush hit by Dent as he delivers the football and Bell at a certain interception. Again, pressure on Theismann. He's flushed out of the pocket and caught from behind. At the 15-yard line, and again, it was Dent. Dent has three sacks. Redskins have a third and 13 coming up at their 15-yard line. Sideline throw. Joe Theismann gone against the number one defense in the NFL. Fourth and 10. Redskins on their own 18. They need a touchdown. They go down the far sideline. Overthrown for Muhammad. As the Bears have really overcome a hurdle here, this Washington crowd and a fine Redskin team. Fourth down play. Walter Payton down inside the 10, and looks like he may have the first down at the nine yard line. Clock still moving with 14 seconds. It is a first down. The Bears don't have to run off another play, and that will put Payton over 100 yards on the afternoon. 106 yards on 24 carries. We got the clock stopped with eight seconds to go. Hold everything. They did not get the first down, and the Redskins offense maybe have a couple of surprises. Second and ten. Time is gone. Intercepted on the last play of the game. The interception pulled down by Mike Richardson. It is ended. The Bears are on their way to San Francisco for the NFC Championship game next Sunday afternoon. Against the 49ers, 23 to 19. So the strategy didn't work out badly for Mike Ditka taking the safety. No, 